Now that Super Mario Odyssey has come out, I wanted to take a look back at all the other 3D Mario games to see which one is best. Now, to make this video a little easier, we're going to go ahead and eliminate the 3D Marios that I know aren't going to make it to the top. And... there. So, now we're left with Super Mario 64, Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario 3D World, and Super Mario Odyssey. Let's start with Mario 64. Mario 64 was released in 1996 and revolutionized the gaming industry. It set so many standards for 3D gaming that I don't know where we'd be without it today. Somehow, on its first try, it almost nailed Mario's control in a 3D environment. It's not perfect, but Mario is fun as hell to control in this game. You can triple jump, back and side flip, long jump, dive and roll out, and so much more. Why do you think the speedruns of this game are so popular? Other than getting the control right, it also really achieves something special with the open world design in Hub World. Peach's Castle is designed to be explored and remembered, with secrets in almost every room. The levels are designed with multiple objectives in mind, and they're super open. You can explore anywhere you want and grab almost every star in any order you like. This game is truly something special, and the nostalgia keeps it a fun experience for me to this day, but it's definitely not without its issues. For one, the camera is terrible. It always feels like you can never get the right angle, and it gets caught on things constantly. Second, while the music is definitely classic, it's so repetitive that it starts to get annoying. I can't tell you how sick I am of hearing the Peach's slide theme. Third, while some of the levels are simply fantastic, not all of them are home runs. Snowman's Land is a worse version of Cool Cool Mountain, Tall Tall Mountain is a worse version of Womp's Fortress, and Dire Dire Docks is a worse version of Jolly Roger Bay. Also, TikTok Clock and Rainbow Ride just do not fit this game's style or control. They will piss you off. So, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love this game, but it just has some issues that I can't see past. Let's move on to Super Mario Galaxy. Released in 2006, this was the first 3D Mario game for the Nintendo Wii, and wow, what a first game. Right from the beginning, you know this game is going to be something special. Mario's goofy running animation still puts a smile on my face, and the music from this opening is just incredible. Now, I'm not going to go into a ton of detail with this game, because I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Mario's controls feel tight and responsive, and also a little restrictive. The spin move is super useful for gaining height and killing enemies, but why did they remove the dive move? The levels are very memorable and super well designed. I'll never forget my first time landing on the Good Egg Galaxy and hearing the sweeping orchestra take over my ears while the massive supernova in the background engulfed my vision. I think we all know and agree that this game is truly amazing, and there's so little about it that bothers me. The only thing I can think of is that the power-ups are pretty lacking. B Mario is boring, Boo Mario is boring, Spring Mario sucks, and yeah. Also, the purple coin challenges can literally eat my... yeah. But other than that, there's just something special about this game that I can't describe. The way it looks, the way it sounds, the way it feels and presents itself, it's just so unique. Maybe it's just my nostalgia speaking, but there's something the player finds in this game that you just don't get anywhere else. Next up is Super Mario 3D World. When the first trailer for this game came out, holy hell did it look boring. The color was dull, the music was bland, and it just looked like there was no passion put into it. But then, then that gameplay trailer came out, and everything changed. Back was the bright and vibrant color, the driving big band music, and the passion. When I got my hands on this game, I literally beat it in one night. It was that good. The levels are so well designed and fun, like the Mario Kart level and the cool Japanese temple level. The music fits every stage perfectly, and every track in the game is a winner. The graphics, while not what I hoped they'd be, are still really nice on the eyes. Everything about this game seemed perfect to me. Looking back, the only thing that seriously bothers me about it is how restrictive the controls are. The triple jump is gone, the dive is gone, and the run button from 2D Mario games are back. It's not a problem on your first run through the game, but eventually the controls leave you wanting to be able to do more. Now, in the grand scheme of things, that problem seems pretty small. This game is still fantastic, and the best of the 2.5D Mario games. Finally, we have the newest release in the series, Super Mario Odyssey. Now, let me just go ahead and say that this game is amazing. 
The levels are some of the best in the series, like the Sand Kingdom and the incredible Metro Kingdom. The music is also fantastic, containing some of the most unique tracks I've heard in a long time. My favorite has to be the Metro Kingdom, with the swingy and careless jazz feel. The best part about this game, though, is the way Mario controls. Mario has his full range of moves intact, and they all feel new in a great way. His moves and jumps are now momentum-based, so if you long jump and then triple jump right after, the speed from your long jump will be carried into the triple jump. It's so fun to play around with and makes the control feel so natural. The new moon collectibles are scattered everywhere, and searching every corner for them is some of the best fun I've had in a long time. This game is simply fantastic. The only issues I have are that the cutscenes of the Odyssey flying between every kingdom become really annoying and tedious, and the game does have some considerable frame rate issues in certain levels, which is something I've never experienced in a Mario game before. But besides those slight, and I do mean really slight issues, this game is just flat out fun. So which one is best? While Super Mario 64 may have the highest nostalgia points with me, its technical and design flaws team the experience just enough to kick it out of the ring. Super Mario 3D World is an amazing experience and a great game, but its more linear style and limited control remove a lot of the replay value and knock this one out too. Super Mario Odyssey is a truly fantastic game, and I might call it one of the best games of all time. Maybe I'll feel differently about this in the future, but for now, it just doesn't make the cut. So that leaves Super Mario Galaxy, a truly revolutionary game that stands the test of time and has its own unique charm that puts it just above the others.